Hello, this is Dave, W7UUU. Uh, got an email from somebody recently asking if I could explain the easy way to do split on a Yesu FT950 HF transceiver. And the way they outline in the book isn't exactly the easiest way to do it. Uh, I'm not sure why they start with the way they start, but um, there's, there's three different ways that I'm aware of anyway you can do split um, on a, a Yesu FT950. I'm going to show you the really easy ones here first. So here we are, we're at 14.030 uh, megahertz CW portion of 20 meters. I am on a dummy load, so I'm not transmitting on the air. Um, and so the, the quickest, easiest way to get into split mode that I use all the time is I just simply hit this button over here that says TXCLAR, TX Clarifier. Just hit that and then dial your VFOB dial and you'll see that this little green number here is changing. So I'm going to put it up 2 kilohertz, which would be a typical split. And for CW anyway, not for sideband, but for CW, which is my primary mode. Um, and now when I hit transmit, you'll see that I'm listening on 14.030, and I'm transmitting on 032. So that's the quickest way to get into split. The only limitation with this is that it only goes up to 9.990, which is actually more than adequate for most split purposes. That's a pretty wide split. Um, so for, for, for most applications, that's the quickest way to get into split mode. And then to clear it out, just hit clear and then turn off the transmitter clarifier. So now we're back to listening and transmitting on the same frequency. The other way um, that I'm aware of, there's three ways, the, the two that I use. The other way is to go into menu item number 30. And here you can set, if I'm, uh, hopefully you can see the 20 there. I've got that set for 20 kilohertz, but let's drop it down to say 12 kilohertz. Um, menu item 30, that sets your, your split mode. So then I go ahead and hold, <coughs> store it by holding the menu button in. And now when I transmit, first I have to push and hold the split button and you hold it until you get the little red light over here on the transmitter indicator. And now when I, I hit transmit, I'm up 12 kilohertz. So the only downside to that is that to change that, I have to go back into the menu, change it, push and hold, and then I have to turn off split and turn it back on again to re-engage the new setting. So you have to remember to do that step. And now we're at 15 kilohertz, which is a, a pretty wide split, but that's becoming more and more common with um, the hugely popular D expeditions out there that uh, that tend to get really gigantic followings. That they'll they'll go with a split that wide. So those are the two ways to do split. There's a third way that allows you to do cross band split, where you can transmit on one band and listen on another. But I've never personally found a reason to use that uh, that mode of split, so I never do. And um, I don't use that way of doing it. So those are the two ways I like to do split. So 73 and we'll see you later.